Hey friends, this is Wendy Cannon with Cannon Planning, and today I feel like the bag lady because I'm going to take some time to walk you through all three sizes of the Tula 12 totes. You can see them all in comparison right here, just holding them in my hands. And I'm going to walk you through each of the three sizes, what you can use them for, and how to get the most out of what you can use your Tula 12 totes for. So let's start with the mini. The mini Tula 12 tote was made for a medium sized planner. You can fit a medium or a small in here very easily. You can hold the large up straight, up and down vertically if you choose, but you will not be able to zip it closed. The small version has some features of the small version. Uh, all of our totes are made with this same material as our covers except for the new blueberry which is just a, a navy that just came out in march 2023 they're a little bit different they're a microfiber suede as opposed to the uh, synthetic pebbled leather so <clears throat> this mini has one large pocket and the ability to zip closed so you can see that with the zipper closed, you still do have access to the insides. So if you need to slip something in there while the zipper is closed, you have the ability to do that. There is a front zip pocket on the mini as well as a D ring on the back. You can use that to attach your keys or a planner charm. There is also the D rings on the side of the tote, which you can add our extended strap which makes this one great for crossbody. With this strap all the way extended, the crossbody will hit you right about hip width, depending on how long your arms are, your body or your torso. But that's where it hits me with the strap all the way extended. So this is the mini tote. All right, let's talk about medium. The medium has the same features as the mini, mini tote, except for it's a little bit larger. So in the mini tote, you can, or excuse me, medium tote, you can fit a large cover vertically and zip the zipper closed. You can also fit an extra large insert or insert, not an insert, a cover in here horizontally and be able to zip it closed. It is a little bit tight. Um, if you use, this is Bessie. Bessie is a little bit thick and she's a little bit <laughs> crabby sometimes, but she will fit in there this direction and be able to zip closed. Just depending on how thick you get it makes it easy or not easy to take it out if you need to get it out in a hurry. The medium also features one a large pocket on the inside. It has the zipper pocket on the front, just like the mini. On the back side is, again, that D-ring for you to be able to add your planner charm or your keys or whatever you want to on the outside. And, of course, the D-rings for your uh, tote strap, if you choose to do that. This is a Northern Lights strap. It's a couple of years old. Uh, but you guys can kind of see you can use this one for a crossbody as well. It hits in the same area as the other one. And it actually works really well as a crossbody as well. It's not big and bulky, and it doesn't take up a whole lot of room for that particular reason. So that is the media. And then the large, which is our original tote, is a little bit different. So the, the original large tote can fit an awful lot of stuff in it. Okay, so it has, before I start filling it with all kinds of things for you to see, on the inside... It has one large pocket. Now, this pocket that goes here, not the zipper section. Let me let me zip those closed so that you can see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> it looks like it is five sections, but it is not really. The one on this side and the one on this side are connected underneath to the large pocket. So the zipper pockets are extended up above. They're not attached on the bottom. See, I could turn these all the way upside down if I wanted to. So if you put something on this side, it may slide through <laughs> underneath. Inside the zipper sections, but there are two zipper sections, okay? So there's, and they're identical. There are two smaller pockets, and then there is a larger pocket inside of the main pocket, okay? So you're really getting four pockets inside the zipper sections. There's the two small pockets, the larger pocket, and then the original pocket. Okay. And they're identical. So you can use them that way. On the outside is also a zipper pocket. Okay. 
and you can see it's pretty deep. It's the full uh, vertical height of the actual tote. On the back side is again the D ring with that you can use keys or whatever. And then there is the D rings on the outside that you can add a handle as well. If you wanted to use this as a crossbody, you can. Uh, it takes up a lot of room and it's a little bit bulky for that. So most people opt to just carry it by the handles, but let me kind of show you <clears throat> what it looks like if you choose to use it as a crossbody or if you want to just use it uh, with an extended tote or strap. So it kind of hangs here in the original area. Again, you can utilize the crossbody. It does take up a lot more room, but if you want to be hands-free, that's one of the best ways that you can do that. So I want you guys to want to see them all side by side one more time. So here is the large. I'm going to have to back up a little bit. Here we go. This is the large and the medium and then the mini. So you can kind of see that each one in comparison takes off of quite a significant little chunk of what the original looked like, just so you guys can kind of see. And then from this angle, this one is a little bit skinnier. This one's a little bit more fluffy. And then this one, of course, is pretty wide. It's the hand width wide. So you can put a lot of things in there. Um, the one thing I didn't share with you is what you can actually fit in the large tote. Um, if you want to watch other videos about the mini, the medium, or the large tote and what you can fit in them, I will attach links to those in the bottom that has a little more explanation. <clears throat> but you can see this is two extra large planner covers in this tote. Okay. So it will hold quite a bit of stuff. Um, I get a lot of questions about whether or not this will hold laptops. Um, it will. This is it's about 15 and a half inches wide. But if you see that there's a lot of room in there, you can actually put a larger laptop in there sideways and still have compartment space available. So again, if you want to check out individual information on any of the totes, mini, medium, or large, go ahead and check the comments. If you found this informational information valuable and you want to share it out, please do. And thank you guys so much for joining Canon Planet. Hope you have a fantastic day. Bye, friends.